Now that we've created a database for a WordPress site, we're going to have to edit a very specific file in the WordPress.org files that we downloaded earlier. So we're going to need this specific database information, so hopefully you've put that in your other file um, in your Word doc uh, so that we can have that very specific information. And you're also going to need this local host information right here. And so that's going to be something we're going to need to input into this file. So I'm going to minimize this. And I've already unzipped this, this WordPress file and you're going to want to unzip that so either uh, do a Google search for WinZip if you don't already have an unzipping program but typically you can usually just extract all or if you've got the Mac just um, double click on it it'll probably unzip itself so um, in this this file that you've already unzipped go ahead and open it up and it's this file right here that I already passed it the wp-config-sample.php file that we're going to edit so it's very simple to do. Just open up Notepad and find that specific file. And you're going to have to do, you know, you might have to, um, you know, do all files just to be able to see this in Notepad or whatever you're going to use um, to pull this up. So click on the this WP config sample file, open it up, and it has the settings that we already put in. It has places to put put this information in. So we're going to need to put in our database name, which our database name was My Easy WordPress. And if you have problems with this after you get it done, first of all, double check that you've put this stuff in very specifically and exactly the way you set up your database and otherwise just get on support and they'll help you um, with the the chat line or the phone number and they'll help you figure out kind of what's what's going on but more than likely this is going to work for you so the um, database user is actually the login name so I know that could be confusing but you put this in the very you know the very same way let's pull that up you put this in, in the same order. The database name, the login, and password is actually the database name, username, and password. So just put that in in the same order. So we've got EWP database and then EWP database admin. And so I'm trying to be careful here to put this in exactly as we created it. Now, this this database local host, 99% chance you won't need to change it. Well, you need to change it. And it's not a big deal because you go back here. It's the database is on this local host. It doesn't even say it's local host, but that's what it is. You copy that. Pull this back up. Remember to leave these little quote quotation marks. Paste that in. And now this should be set up to work. So we're going to re we're going to do file save as and I like to you know put in all files. I like to click on this and just to make sure it's going back into the exact same and not saving as you know yes we want to replace it. It's not saving it as some you know secondary version. So we can go ahead and close this out now that we've edited this file. The next step is we're going to upload all of the files using the smart FTP pro FTP program that we downloaded earlier up onto our website.